Hello there, Gemini. Thank you so much for stopping by for your tarot video forecast for the month of March. Um, what I'm looking at is just one life cycle that happens for you during the month of March. So this is going to be one of the more major themes. And a life cycle basically just sets you up to have a lesson or experience. And then as you integrate that lesson or experience, then you get ready to move on to the next life cycle. Um, life cycles, we all have several of them at the same time. So and they sort of overlap so that this can be um, this can be talking about family it can be talking about work can be talking about love life this can really fall anywhere and i really leave it up to sacred spirit as to what we're talking about each month i leave it up to okay what is it that you would like the majority of the people to know in each sign so this is a general reading not everybody is going to apply not everything is going to apply to everybody um, but I do have an agreement with Sacred Spirit that it will apply to most people of the sign who watch the video and that everything that comes up will be for your highest and best good. So even if there's information that comes up that may seem negative, I want you to keep in mind that there must be a reason why that's coming up. There's a reason why it's for your highest and best good to know this information. Okay, so let's just get started, Gemini. For March, for your environment, the first thing that I'm seeing is, um, first of all, environment is anywhere where you have energy or effort invested. And so mostly I see it as home, but it has come up before in readings as work or as school. But what I'm seeing for your environment, Gemini, is that you are sharing this environment with somebody else. And this somebody happens to be a person that has a lot of authority and responsibility. And this person has a lot of respect for people and probably also for nature, but definitely for people. This person pretty much considers people all equal, no matter what brand of shoes they're wearing or what side of town they come from. He just has respect for people because people are carriers of life and that's um, something that's worthy of respect. So this is somebody who is um, high integrity. People will do things for this person just because he treats them well no matter who they are. And um, really just a nice, solid, good personality is what I have coming up that this is somebody that you're sharing your environment with, Gemini. Now, for subconscious leanings for this life cycle in the month of March, what we have showing up is that subconsciously you're working on how can you find a place of shelter or a place of protection. So there's some place where you're feeling a little bit vulnerable in your life or a situation that you're feeling vulnerable in your life and your subconscious is working on okay, how can I make this into a safer situation? How can I transform this into a place where they feel more protected and less vulnerable? Okay. Now, the next thing that I want to look at is about learning style around this situation and also your communication style around this situation. So learning style, it seems to me like um, you have a lot of information uh, around the situation and it seems like you've been gathering this information for a very long time. I'm talking about over a period of years. So what this theme has to do with is something that you're familiar with. It's something that you've, um, where, while you may not have been dealing with this particular life cycle, you've been operating in or around things like this for a very long time because you have a lot of information put together about your situation just accumulated over time. So learning style, still accumulating more information, but there's also, you've already got your foundation built. Now you're just really adding to that foundation. Um, as far as communication style around this life cycle, mm, I feel like communication right now can be for you very emotional. Um, feels like there is some passion around this whole thing that there's uh, the, whatever it is that we're looking at, this is a charged situation for you. This is not something that you feel neutral about or that you're just kind of coasting through. This is something that has some real emotional ups and downs and um, has the potential for great drama if you let it go in that direction. Uh, trick is not to let it go in that direction. So I feel like the communication um, could be filled with drama if you allow it to go that way, but definitely a lot of emotion, a lot of passion in your communication around this situation. Um, as far as work goes, and work can be that way that you're making a living, but this can also be um, 
things that you're doing to improve your own character or your own integrity. Um, but dedication is coming up as something that is playing a key role when it comes to work. So this can be as simple as um, knowing that where you're working right now, that you want to stick with that, that you intend to stick with that job or that place of employment. Now, the other way that this can come up is that you may be looking at situations in your life and realizing that you didn't really give, you kind of have a pattern of not giving enough time to a situation to see how it's going to pan out. And this can be you working on your own character to um, allow yourself to slow down a little bit and give some things some time to work out before you just throw them away and walk away from those situations. Okay, so that part of you that's being grown or expanded as we move through this life cycle for the month of March um, is communication skills and communication style, I'm hearing. Um, feels to me like um, Gemini's you. I don't know that much about your sign because astrology is really not my thing. Tarot is. Um, I, I just use the... I just do my tarot readings per sign because I know that each sign has similar energies affecting it. But what I am feeling about you guys is that um, you're doing a lot of communication and you're really growing in your communication style. So I feel like you guys are good at being very direct in your communication, maybe even brusque in how you communicate and you're you're fine tuning that you're learning how to get the same ideas across without being uh abrasive or at least being less abrasive and more um palatable easier for somebody to hear a message from you um, than before so um, that's where i see you growing or expanding is in learning to uh, make the messages that you send to other people um, things that are easier for them to accept and that don't seem um, insulting or like a slap in the face. Okay, so the next card talks to me about um, things that you stand for. And you have a situation in your life that looks like where you're feeling quite frustrated and if somebody would come to you and say, why are you tolerating this? Why don't you just get out? of this situation, you would have very um, solid reasons in your mind for why you're staying in this frustrating situation. And you would tell that person, you know what, you don't know, you just don't get it, so step off. I'm. This is where I am because I choose to be here and I want to be in this frustrating situation because I don't think it's going to be frustrating forever or whatever is your reason. Um, you're just not open to what people would have to say if they would tell you, well, just walk away. All right, so the next card that we have does talk about how other people perceive you. Um, and this is telling me, Gemini, that other people perceive you as, number one, having a more feminine energy. A feminine energy is more of an energy of allowing uh, things to come to you, being a little bit more passive, not so much get out there and go, 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 do, do, do. Uh, but more about allowing those good things to come into you, just, you know, making it clear, this is what I want, this is what I need, and letting those things happen for you. So people see that. Um, I feel like people see you as extremely lucky uh, because of your feminine energy like that. But they also see you as being very good at making business decisions and very good at cutting through um, emotions to get to the truth. So sometimes when we're when people are triggered, um, they're talking about stuff that really has nothing to do with the real issue. You're really good at seeing that. Okay, this is this person is upset because of something really different than what's really going on. But here's what's really going on. You're good at seeing what's really going on. So that's how other people perceive you. So next we come to the lesson or the experience of this life cycle that you're going through in the month of March. And what I see is that you're going to have a situation where um, basically somebody did something and it turned out that the results of this were not good. All right. But there's questions as to whether the people who did this or the people who, or person who did this actually intended to have the results that they did or if they intended, if they had good intentions but things went off track and then they didn't know how to fix it before things got out of control. 
So it's going to be up to you to decide what really happened here and what's an appropriate action to take in response to this thing that that went wrong and in response to the people that were responsible for generating that situation. Now, as you get through this, as you figure out, okay, how do I want to handle this? What's really going on? I see that you get really comfortable in seeing both sides of the story. I feel like you're a really good listener and you could see how this could have happened very easily. And in fact, I feel like, um, this may be a situation where there was some type of disagreement and I feel like once you hear both sides of the story that you really can understand each side and empathize with each side and see why they thought they were right. Um, and to me this feels like um, kind of a sad situation because it's all just one big misunderstanding. It feels to me like these people probably, um, these people that aren't getting along probably were on the same page and just didn't even realize it because of their communication. The next thing that I have that happens as you are making this decision about how to handle this person is that this decision is not an easy decision for you. This is one that you will take your time with uh, because um, sorry, I got distracted. Just realized the very last card in the spread is the same as the as um, Taurus, only it's upside down for you, which actually is good. But anyway, um, I do feel like you're going to have a hard time actually making your decision about what is the appropriate way to handle the situation that you're judging and trying to figure out, you know, what really happened there. So just taking your time with that decision, really. Um, understanding each where the other came from, which is part of why you're taking your time because in some ways each of these um, sides of the situation is right. And then as we get to the end of the life cycle completely, which is actually the seed for the beginning of the next life cycle, what we have going on is there's a clearing of the air. To me it feels like there's a clearing of the air and um, there's a recovery. Whatever this was, whatever this incident was, seems like it caused a lot of emotional havoc on the people around it. Not just the ones involved in it, but also people that were touched by it that weren't necessarily involved in it. And so I'm seeing that there is, um, as you progress through making your decision here, there is healing brought to some of those people who were affected by this and there's um, where they might have been extremely depressed before they're starting to see that things aren't so bad and that things are beginning to turn around. Okay, so that is what I have coming up for just one life cycle, not for the whole month of March for you Geminis. Um, thank you so much for stopping by, for hanging out, liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting. I do appreciate everybody's support. You guys have a fantastic month. I'll see you back here the next time. Peace out.